methadone girl. She's a new kind of junkie. She's legal. Proper like the Virgin Mary floating on her bed after the Nazi doctors who emptied her like an orange, filled her back with lemon juice. Oh, the sweet scent of the flesh when they marry it to an opiate. They vomited in concentration camps and brought back synthetic love. Men bring her red berries for her pale complexion and her corkscrew mind. I can drink that jug full of it, bath in the spirit that enchants reveries. But it's so wrong, bend like a gooseneck lamp with noises in the closets of wept asses that defecate on graves. The shiny plumbing comes straight from the man with a tan, a fat dwarf on the hill with a lot of malleage. Get me in his hands and I'm impossible to be chewed by my father ever again. With just the right gestures, I'm solvent but sick and my own undertaker. They stab me on the forehead to be delivered to the postmodern Auschwitz, the methadone clinic ripe as a fruit, where all is hush hush with a kiss and whip, leaky as a faucet. It also provides free shackles and a rope to hang yourself, free of charge, as long as I sign my life like an impossible knitwear, impaled on the white picket fence. I belong to the garden variety of addicts. And like my mother, I'm locked in the wrong bedroom. That would be mine. But I'm a legal addict like the milkman or the postman. The man beside me has no teeth. The woman on the other side, helpless but hopeful, as a leech, keeps staring at her panties. And I'm that girl with a ration of little breaths like a steamed potato smiling like a soap dish. Goldfishes, children's rainbows, and flying turtles on the wall, being a junkie on methadone, the dutiful metronome, you get your frill where you can if you pass a peeing test. The seagull has come home. I kick off my shoes, bend the furniture, and swallow my tongue.